The Wisconsin State Fair is here. We're shining a spotlight on the food, the fun, and your fair favorites. Find out what's new for 2022. Plus, we're sampling Sporky's finalists. Watch for the winning word for your chance to win a State Fair prize pack. This is WISN 12 Live, State Fair Spotlight. Hello and welcome to the State Fair Spotlight Special. I'm Lindsay Slater. And I'm Jaron Jordan. We've got a nice little crowd <laughs> yeah. here joining us outside of the pavilion here on the State Fair Fairgrounds. We are breaking down everything you need to know and bringing <laughs> everything you need to know about the 2022 Wisconsin State Fair over the next half hour. And the best part is that you have a chance to win a State Fair prize pack. All you need to do is make sure that you downloaded the 12 News app and then enter the secret word in the State Fair Spotlight section. We're going to reveal that secret word later on in our show. Now today is opening day of the 2022 Wisconsin State Fair and things got underway super early this morning with the traditional opening ceremony. Isn't this a perfect Wisconsin day to welcome you all to the 171st Wisconsin State Fair? 171 years of the Wisconsin State Fair over the course of the next 11 days. More than 840,000 people will come here to the State Fair. Oh, there's so many people. There was a ton of people here today, and there's a lot of new things to experience this year at the fair. We're going to go ahead and take a live look from News Chopper 12. One of the things for 2022 is new hours. The fair now opens at 10 a.m., and it closes at 10 p.m. Sunday through Wednesday. It closes at midnight on Thursday through Saturday. The fair runs now all the way until August 14th. Now there are a few new security features that you're also going to notice when you come here to State Fair Park. Portable barriers will be in place, the same kind used in the Waukesha Memorial Day Parade. And the fair is also minimizing the size of bags that are allowed inside. For most guests, nothing larger than a medium-sized purse or tote bag. Now there are so many classic features oh, yeah. of the Wisconsin State Fair. One of the fair favorites this year, getting a pretty big makeover. And it's back. We have Kent Wayne's got live from the milk house. It, the first thing I want to show you is what you're seeing behind me here, folks, still getting in line here. The lines have been long throughout the day, folks coming uh, often as they just enter the gate to the return of the Milk House, which was uh, gone for a while here at State Fair. But uh, dollar a cup for flavored milk, what's better here in America's dairy land than that? All the money going to the Wisconsin State Fair Park Foundation and folks anxious this year for the return of this state fair tradition. I'll rip you in a strawberry, please. And you're happy to see it back. Oh, God, yes. Two chocolates, please. We have felt the love today like no other. We knew we knew how much people loved it, but we didn't really know how much they loved it until today. Is it worth waiting in line for? Oh God, yes. This is first of all, this is the best fair ever. We're from Arizona. This is the best fair in the whole world. Two chocolate, two cherry. One of each. I don't want to get back in line. The price is more than it used to be, but for a good cause. This is a fundraiser for the Wisconsin State Fair Park Foundation. We're the nonprofit arm of the fair. So all of the proceeds that we raise here are reinvested into the fair park. This was a must stop for you today. Totally a must stop. I had uh, the chocolate, cherry, and the strawberry. So I got to keep a tradition going. I'm glad it's back. No trip to the Wisconsin State Fair is complete without a visit to the Milk House. Thank you. It's good stuff. And there you have it, the uh, new selection of flavors this year, chocolate cherry, root beer, chocolate strawberry. Anna, what's, what's been the most popular? I have to say it's root beer, but the chocolate cherry is very close second. All right. Root beer was the big one this morning when a lot of folks were coming out for the first time to tell us they said it was like a root beer float without the ice cream. But regardless, this is a must stop for a lot of folks out here. Jaron, Lindsay. Kent Wayne Scott reporting live from the Milk House. I have to make my way over to the Milk House. Yes. I haven't done that just yet, but talking about that root beer milk, it seems like uh, something pretty tasty, and I love that all of the proceeds going right back to the community. And it's only a dollar, probably one of the cheapest things you can yeah, get here love at the fair. All right, this year there's actually a new person at the helm, and Darren, you had a chance to talk to them. They're leading the team here at the Wisconsin State Fair. That's right, and while she's new to the role, she's really not new to fairs. She's been around fairs really her whole life. You ain't know her, Lindsay. Actually, she grew up in Waukesha. She started showing 
showing agriculture when she was nine years old. She even had the chance to show here at the Wisconsin State Fair. I talked with the fair's new CEO and executive director about what she hopes to bring to the role and what you can expect this year. So what is it like for you to be back now in this type of role, overseeing something that you participated in, you know, as, as, a, young, as a youngster? I'll be very honest, I want to pinch myself. It's so exciting to be in this role now. Who would have ever thought the girl would come out of the barn and lead such a big organization? We have a new BMX show this year. Of course, we have top-notch entertainment on our main stage as well as our side stages, and we also have um, entertainment that strolls throughout the grounds. <laughs> And of course, Spin City is open with rides and games. And then make sure you're taking in some of those agriculture shows inside of the Coliseum. And so it's more than just the food and the fun and the games. It is. It is. That is our goal, is to make sure that we're always educating. The great thing about Wisconsin State Fair is we have areas like Dairy Lane <laughs> that are in our dairy barn, uh. as well as Discovery Barnyard, where people can come and they're holding baby animals and don't realize that they're being educated while they're having fun here at the fair. Talk about safety security uh, as we you know, kind of get to the opening of the state fair. <laughs> Not only with just the rides that are here, but in terms of keeping people safe on the grounds. Well, we have instituted a bag policy this year. <laughs> we reconfigured our gates to make easier accessibility when entering and leaving the park. And we wanted to make sure that people were bringing in the bags um, and adhering to that size of 9 by 10 by 12, which will allow us to more efficiently and effectively check the bags and then get people into the fair. <laughs> we are so excited to open the gates and welcome everybody in to enjoy it. Our thanks to Sherry, our thanks to Sherry Black there for joining us to talk about what to expect out of this year's fair and the theme this year. There's something for everyone. Absolutely. And Jaron, it is your first year at the Wisconsin State Fair. Yeah, okay. Oh. 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 Still to come. Come along with me as I experience some of the must do's at the Wisconsin State Fair. I'm gonna drink my beer to the green and gold. I'm gonna scream till I can't no more. Oh, that sounds so good. Plus, Charlie Barron's is one of this year's State Fair headliners. We break down the full list of acts playing at the grandstand. And let's go ahead and take a live look from the Wisconsin State Fair as we had to break. The action is underway. 11 straight days of fair fun here in West Dallas. More State Fair Spotlight when we come back.